Okay, uh, good evening uh, fellow Mad Millers. Um, I've completely redone my milling jig. Um, so I've got rid of um, all the clamps that I had on before because they were clamping the glass and I, I, I think causing it to crack, although this, isn't, this arrangement has not been tested yet, so uh, we'll remain to be seen what happens. So I've now surrounded and packed the whole uh, um, tray perimeter with uh, this is a hardwood I can't remember where this came from I, I can't remember where I got it from but uh, it, yeah it's reasonably hardwood so it's, it's quite it's very flat it's plain flat so it's nice and all the way around and then I've um, then uh, because the tray is good because these trays are, are, are cast I suspect they've got a slightly sloping this is slightly sloping so the glass tends to what well, tends to ride up it so I faced it with the at uh, this aluminium which has got a 90 degree uh, flat on it you can see here so that, that gives me a nice square uh, receptacle for the glass. Now, now these, these, the right hand and the rear, um, you can just about see the rear glass plate, these are fixed. These are floating slightly by about 10 mil. Fortunately, the slots I had to cut by hand because um, I couldn't use my milling machine because I converted it into a glass milling machine, which was a bit unfortunate. And then this one, this one moves as well. So the idea is, um, First of all, uh, I, I've got to get basically got to get the glass up to a level where it, um, you know, it's it's butting against these uh, aluminium supports, but n but not so high that I can't cover it in water. So I've done a few measurements, and I've got so the first thing that goes in is this. This is a uh, used to be a Morrison's uh, one pound cutting um, cutting mat, which is made of a sort of plastic, which. Uh, I butchered with a jigsaw. So that goes in first. Uh, and then we've got the foam. This is a sort of a, um, reasonably rigid uh, foam. Uh, this will go directly under the glass so I can mill through the glass and I've got something soft to mill into, but it's still rigid enough to support the glass weight. So that goes on top. And then I've got a sheet of glass, which hopefully won't crack. So that then goes on top of that. There we go. So that sits in there like that. This moves forward and screws into position. This moves sideways, screws into position. And I don't, you know, then, then the glass is now ain't going anywhere. But there's no downward pressure on it, so I'm hoping, hoping that the uh, it won't crack. So uh, I'll be back in a minute um, if it cracks a bit upset. Anyway, back in a minute. Cheers. Okay, we're cutting again. Um, so it's plunged and it's cutting. Uh, feed rate's very slow. 7.76 millimeters per minute. Hang on, I'll switch back over to the... Um, it's the control program. Feed rate's very low. But I've overridden it and made it go a little bit slower. So far, uh, cutting with uh, no cracks so far. Still a lot of vibration. Which I'm not very happy about, but... Um, The jig seems to be holding the glass okay. Cutting a 40 millimeter diameter circle. Ooh, a lot of vibration. And also my tray's not very deep, so the water sort of bloody leaks everywhere, but uh, other than that, we're good. Uh, will it break? I don't know. Anyway, I'll... Uh, I won't bore you with uh, watching it mill a very slow circle. I should be back in a minute if it, if it finishes. Uh, anyway, see you soon. Bye. Well, call me sad, but that was exciting. It worked. Hang on a minute. Bear with me. A little bit of fettling on the computer here. Hang on, let's get rid of the bit. There's... Two ticks, two ticks. Get that bit out of the way. Okay. 
kill the motor. Oh, oh thank God for that. What racket? Uh, hang on. Uh, oh, no, you want it, is there? There we go. A little bit wet, hang on, clean it off a little bit. Sorry about, oh God, threw it on the floor. Um, there we go, it's got, a, it's got a little burr on the edge here where it's just, um, but there we go, a 40 millimeter circle milled out of three mil glass. The glass didn't crack. It made a bit of a racket, and I'll have to inspect the um, the bit under the microscope now. See how badly it's worn. It's only a cheap bit. I mean, they're they're Rolson sort of these, you know, massive big set of bits. I'm sure they're probably not very good quality. Um, no offence to Rolson, but I mean they're only like a tenner for about thirty bits. So they can't be that good. Um, but it feels smooth. I mean, it's very smooth, and it's, there's no sharp edge to it. So um, yeah, that's really good. It seems to have worked. Anyway, so um, anyway, uh, any comments? Um, uh, thanks for your uh, advice, Bob. And I, I, I might have a go see if I can build another one. Cheers. Okay, well that was an interesting result. Uh, the glass didn't break this time. Uh, the uh, the bit sheared off. Um, not quite sure why. There seems to be plenty of um, plenty of life left in its. In, I don't know whether it's just their cheap rubbish bits and. Um, you know, the fatigue um, has just caused it to snap, but it, uh, it got about, well, you can see, a fair way round, three quarters of the way round maybe, and then all of a sudden the bits just snapped off. Um, it's a bit of a blow. All right, I'll, uh, I'll put another bit in. Uh, maybe I might have to invest in some slightly uh, higher quality bits. These, these are not terribly good. Anyway, um, okay. Blast. Um, right, back in a bit.